California Governor Jerry Brown <laughs> signing a bill into law making it the first state to require public companies to have a female on the board of directors. Hillary Vaughn has the details from Los Angeles. What a great idea, legislating exactly who people have to have on their board, Hillary. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Good point, Melissa. Well, Jerry Brown's whole point is to have more women in corporate leadership, so he decided to make it against the law for some corporations to have all men sitting on their board of directors. Brown's law will try to close the gender gap in business by forcing them to hire women or fining them hundreds of thousands of dollars if they don't. This law, if implemented, would impact hundreds of California corporations. Over 370 large firms in the Russell 3000 have all-male boards and would need to make major hiring changes in just over a year to get in compliance with the new law. Over 30 business groups have spoken out. In opposition of this, six different chambers of commerce around the state have taken a stand against it also, calling it unconstitutional. But even Governor Jerry Brown admits that this law may not even be legal, saying in a statement, quote, there are numerous objections to this bill and serious legal concerns have been raised. I don't minimize the potential flaws that indeed may prove prove fatal to its ultimate implementation. Nevertheless, recent events in Washington, D.C. and beyond make it crystal clear that many are not getting the message. Now, by the end of 2019, every publicly traded corporation headquartered here in California will have to have one woman, at least, on the board. And by summer 2021, there have to be two women on a five-person board. And if the board has six or more people, there needs to be at least three women on the board. If businesses don't comply, they're going to pay a massive fine under the law, businesses that keep their all male boards and don't comply will pay $100,000 for the first violation. And for any violation after that, Melissa, $300,000 fines are what they're going to have to fork over. Unbelievable. California is really a special place, Hillary. Good luck out there. See you soon.